cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? As you can see from here, I have some tofu with me, some uh, uh, dry radish. This is the sweetened type. Some a bit of uh, chopped uh, garlic and a little bit of uh, bird eye chili here, chopped. Yeah. Now, um, what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, fry the tofu and then uh, stir fry the radish separately. After the radish is done, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, put it on top of the tofu. Uh, why is it I got two pieces of tofu here? Basically, um, mm, I'm not using exactly the right tofu today, I must confess. This is also the pressed tofu, but it is not exactly the very um, dry type. Um, the very dry type is much easier to deep fry. And and this particular dish usually you they, they prefer the whole piece of tofu yeah looks much nicer for this particular dish uh, if not actually uh, I, it's easier with this type of uh, Japanese pressed tofu I can actually cut cut it into four and uh, use a non-stick wok no use a non-stick wok to uh, fry it it's actually easier uh, but this dish it doesn't look good when you cut it into small pieces mm. Also, if you can find Japanese uh, the, the egg tofu, that will actually taste the best, yeah, for this particular dish. So I got two here. If I um, let's hope my tofu can stay in shape. If I lost one, I have at least another one. Okay. Okay, let's try and uh, deep fry our tofu here. As you can see from here, I'm using uh, recycled oil. This is the second time I'm using this oil. I think before this, I use it to fry something else, maybe a pork or something. Okay, so um, the moment you start seeing smokes coming up, this is the time where you can actually uh, put in your tofu slowly, gently. Tofu actually contains uh, water, so you really do have to be careful when you are deep frying them. Okay, I'm trying very hard to keep the shape. So uh, now I'm actually using medium high heat to uh, deep fry them, not super high. Why is it you want to put your tofu when the oil is uh, on high heat? Because you want to crispify your tofu immediately. That will actually help to uh, keep your to the shape of your tofu, okay? Uh, very fast, less than one minute, you actually start seeing uh, my tofu started to turn yellowish at the bottom. This is the time where we can uh, slowly turn them, yeah, push it. Push it to the to the side. Well, uh, I think the shape has gone a little bit on the other side, but at least generally it's still squarish. <laughs> okay, now you don't want a super high heat. Just use a medium, medium or medium high to uh, continue frying it, and this process shouldn't take very long. Okay. We will come back after this. Now that I think again, I don't think we actually need the high heat before we put in the tofu. Medium heat somewhere around 150 degrees Celsius, that should be enough. Meaning, uh, you put a chopstick inside the oil, it will start bubbling but there will not be any smoke. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, fry my second piece later uh, using uh, medium heat. That should be more than enough. Okay, you don't need the, to use high heat. So now we need to flip it again. Oops. Alright. Basically, the whole tofu shouldn't take you more than four or five minutes. It should be done. Okay, so by the time uh, all the side has been uh, nicely coated with the brownish golden color, the tofu is done. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to flip it one last round. Now it's getting easier because uh, not much water left. Basically, one piece of tofu like this, it shouldn't take you more than five minutes. Okay, should be done by now. So I'm going to uh, take this out and put it on top on the uh, oil absorbing paper. Nice, very fragrant, very crispy outside, very nice. So let's uh, let, it, let the oil rest for about 10 seconds or so. Let it uh, let the oil temperature to slowly goes up. Then we are going to put in the next one. Uh, it's going to splatter, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually using um, medium heat right now, not using high heat. Okay, so uh, let it uh, crispify the bottom before I uh, flip it to the other side. And how you know it's crispy? Just uh, it's like how you deep fry your fish. Um, use your eyes to pay attention to the edges, yeah, the sides of the tofu. The moment you see it started to turn brownish, then it is almost there. Okay, it shouldn't take very long. Okay, can you start seeing the, the edges turning yellowish? This is a sign telling you it is uh, almost ready for you to flip. And you push it, yeah, it shouldn't be sticking off to the bottom. So you use, use always use two uh, tool to help you help you here. Push it to the the side, flip it. Right, nice. Okay, so I'm going to wait until the this the edges started to um, the bottom of the edges started to uh, get brownish. Then I'm going to turn it again. So total cooking time about another four five minutes. All right, it's that simple frying a tofu. Of course, um, Appa is also scared of hot oil. Just be careful. Okay. Okay, this is almost four minute plus. Let me flip one more round. Nice. Okay. Basically, the lesser bubble you are hearing, the season, uh, lesser sizzling now you are hearing is because the water has already started to come up. Meaning that is a good sign of your uh, telling you the uh, your tofu is actually cooked. Okay. Well, um, actually, tofu it doesn't have to be one hundred percent cooked. You can still eat it. Some of the smooth tofu you can eat it raw. Okay, now I'm going to take it out. Okay, move to the side, let the oil drain out. Then slowly moving it onto uh, oil absorbing paper on the side. Okay, now we can uh, continue with the uh, radish. My tofu is sick. So let's prepare the radish. Put some oil. By the way, the radish will uh, jumping all around. <laughs> you will know what I mean later. So we want to uh, saute our radish for a couple of minutes to bring out the flavor and to crispy fry it. Some people will deep fry it. Um, I tried deep fry radish, a uh, dried radish once. I don't like it. Um, even though it becomes a bit more crispier, but it's very tough. The texture becomes very tough. I don't like it. Okay, so I actually prefer to uh, saute like this. So we will saute this uh, for a few minutes under medium high heat. Then uh, I'm going uh, towards the end. Then I'm going. Then only I'll be adding the garlic and also the chili because that too cannot be sauteed for too long. Okay, but this at least five six minutes easily, maybe more. So we come back shortly. Okay, this is sorting after about 3-4 minutes. Uh, as you can see, some of it has started to become crispy fine. And I've added a little bit more oil just now. It was a bit too dry. And I have toned down my fire to low medium. 
because just now it was too hot. I think a uh, little, I, I, I actually smell a little bit of burn smell, just a little bit. Now it's no more. So I'm going to continue sauteing until about five, um, a bit more. Then I will be adding the garlic. Okay. So always remember, all kitchen, every kitchens are different. Appa's kitchen is different. Appa's stove is different than yours. So whenever I say Appa says medium high heat, um, but when you are using medium high heat and suddenly you you feel the burn smell, please tone down your fire. Okay. Cooking is all about um, it's all about flexibility. Yeah, especially home cooking. You can't. You can't follow whatever all the professional says on the net, especially for us. We are we are not professional. Okay, uh, we make mistakes sometimes. Our in, our uh, food is a little bit salty, a bit uh, uh, sugary. Yeah, so um, we just slowly uh, adjust accordingly. So as you can see from here, about thirty percent of my 30 40 percent of my. Um, Radish has already uh, crispy fine. So I don't need the whole thing to be fully crispy fine. Now I can actually put in garlic and also the chili. Uh, you can also do away with the chili, don't worry. Now the moment you put in these two, it's going to be a bit choking. Yeah? The aroma, the nice aroma will come out, but it will be a bit choking. Wow, nice. <coughs> Ooh, like I said, it's a, the aroma coming out can be a bit shocking. So I'm going to continue, <coughs> sorry, saute this for another uh, cup, uh, two, three minutes, then it is done. Uh, we can put in a little bit of salt right now because my, uh, my radish is actually sweetened, so I'm not going to put sugar. Okay, continue doing this for another two minutes, then it is done. Okay, so basically now about 70 or 80 percent of the radish has already uh, crispy fine. It is actually done. I don't mind adding a little, just a little bit of sugar. Okay. Give it a few stir. And the radish is done. Let's continue our next step. The last step is very simple. Uh, let's put in some uh, hot water. Make a bit of gravy with uh, oyster sauce. about uh, one to two tablespoon depending on your water a bit of light soy sauce a little bit of salt A bit of sugar. A little bit of white pepper. A little bit of sesame oil. Okay. And we can uh, Add some starch solution to uh, thicken the gravy. We don't need a lot. Maybe just uh, one teaspoon of uh, cornstarch. Add in a bit of water. Okay, I'm going to off the fire. And 
slowly add in the start solution. Immediately the gravy thicken up. By the way, many people uh, scolded me for you not using a proper spatula. Um, they're saying, uh, some even say, Appa, can you be more professional or not? You see, the thing is, Appa is not a professional. <laughs> okay, so uh, I just use whatever that uh, is in front of me. I don't care what it is, as, as long as it works, right? Okay, the gravy is done. So I'm going to show you how I serve the dish. So we have our fried tofu in the middle. And we can put the radish on top. Let it overflow like your prosperity. Yeah, your hopefully those who make this dish your prosperity for 2019 can be overflow. Yeah. Now if you eat like this, it may be a little bit dry. That's why we made some gravy, remember? Now take your gravy. Pour slowly pour it over. Maybe I should pour the gravy, then only I put the... Then only I put the uh, radish on top. <laughs> I got the order a bit uh, wrong. No problem. Okay, and I'm going to put uh, some fresh coriander on top. Let's have some fresh coriander on top. There you go. So here's my um, radish tofu, a dried radish with fried tofu. Okay, I hope you like my uh, dish. If you like my cooking, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to create like follow button. Follow up on Instagram and don't forget uh, to subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel and leave a comment below. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye.